going to go ahead and install the program called GQRX. It's a RTL SDR type of software. And I'm just uh, VNC'd right now into the uh, Raspberry Pi, as you can see up here. So we can go ahead and we can just do an update for now. So while that's doing that, we're going to go up here and we're going to click on the Pi icon. Then we are going to go down here and click on Add Remove Software. And once this is up, we're going to go over here to the search box and put in GQRX. Hit enter to search. And it might take a few depending on uh, what we got going on here. So as you can see, we're going to be focused on this guy here. So we're going to check that box. And if we right click, we can see a few things here. We can remove it, visit the website, required packages, and so on. So we're just going to click on the bottom one here. All right, so it says no other packages required. So we're just going to check the box and we're going to hit apply. Now it might come up and ask you for the password. Obviously, if you're running a default, it's just Raspberry, but highly suggest changing that for the time being. So right now it's downloading the packages that we need. Installed, a little install window popped up and it went away once it was done. So uh, we should be good to go there. So all we need to do now is just go over here and we'll hit OK. And we are just going to go ahead and reboot this guy. And I already have my uh, RTL SDR dongle plugged in. Um, I'm just using a uh, new elect, or you could use a rtlsdr.com, whatever you prefer, and whatever, obviously, the software supports. All right, so now we are getting back into the Pi here. <clears throat> so we can come up here, and if you go under Internet here, you will see the GQRX. So if we click on it, it might take a little bit. Now I'm just running this right now for the purpose of this video on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So not the Pi 4, but it should work fine on the Pi 4. Well, it should work even better. So, we'll click on device, and as you can see, here's my uh, RTO. And down here is one, but we'll try this one first. It may actually be this one, so let's just go with that one. And we'll just keep all that stuff by default. You may need to change it. So, we have it up here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So if we come over here, we click on the little uh, device tab there, as you can see the same window as we have. So if we click play over here, now we're not going to get no sound because I'm VNC'd into it, but you obviously would need speakers or a Bluetooth or a monitor that has built-in speakers, whatever, if you're using uh, HDMI. But you can also 
more than likely install Pulse Audio and throw it out of Bluetooth or whatnot if needed. But as you can see, it's working. Got a little lag to it, but that might be because of VNC. Uh, plus, obviously, it's the 3B+. Plus. Uh, it's not overclocked or anything like that. But this is just a simple video on how you can install this. You can uh, play around here and learn new things. I used this pl uh, software a little bit in the past, but not a whole lot. But uh, you get the hang of it once you get uh, sort of used to it. You should be fine. But uh, hopefully this helped out. And uh, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another one. We can go ahead. We can right click on this and add to desktop. So you don't have to go under there. We can just make a shortcut. And... Uh, you can just double click on the icon and be ready to rock and roll. Alright, thanks for watching.